Hey, what's up? It's Deanna. Well, I have severe social <laughs> anxiety. And every time I'm filming one of these videos, I like get so nervous. Sorry, I have to laugh. Sometimes when I laugh, it makes me feel better. And maybe it's like some kind of Tourette response. I don't know. But uh, yeah, so <laughs> what I'm showing you here is an antique Victorian photo album that I got on eBay. And it came with the cover and the back cover and the binding in a million pieces like it totally completely fell apart so i went on amazon.com and i got book binding tape and i pretty much put it back together again like humpty dumpty right well watch it fall apart now because i'm doing a video but wait oh it looks good okay and then i used it on the inside of the book it looks a little messy but what are you going to do right as long as the book is together So we have uh, the graphics for the first page. As you can see, it's gilded and it looks like it's hand tinted or lithographed. That's really pretty. And so now most of the photos in this book, which is great when you collect antique CDV photos, daguerreotypes, uh, did I pronounce that right? Don't laugh if you're a real serious collector of photos and I just said that wrong or ambrotypes or gem tin types when you get a photo from the 1800s and it has names on it that's like the coupe de gras that's like the greatest thing ever and so 90 percent of these photos had some kinds of names on the back had some information even years and so now this is a smorgasbord of different decades all in one so we have like 1860s all the way up until about the 1890s in this one book and what's really cool is when you get these old albums, you can pretty much see the personality of the person putting the book together because a lot of times there was certain reasons they did certain things and you can like sort of peer into what they were thinking, what was on their mind, what was the type of things that they liked during that time frame. So the first picture we have is this one was dated in 1906. So this is a 1906 photo. A CDV or a card de visit, visit, carte de visit. Yeah, I think I pronounced that right. I don't know. I'm going to probably get like made fun of in the comments below, but whatever. I had to have a thick skin, right? And uh, this is just like a cool, cool book. So now this is a, a tin type, the one on the left here, the guy that has the uh, Abe Lincoln look to him. And uh, you can see there's like scratches all over it. And tin types are called tin types not because they're actually made on tin. tin. It was actually ferrotypes or it had some kind of iron. So it was an, a piece of iron that was cut into a thin sheet that was blackened. So they painted one side and they blackened it so the image would show. And it appears that this one has seen better days. But this is really awesome if you look at it. Look at uh, how interesting the subject is. Again, he has that cool looking beard and that hat. And a lot of times too, you'll notice with these old photographs, if somebody had very light eyes, like blue eyes or green eyes, they would show up like this. And they would almost have a scary, very scary appearance. Doesn't it look like uh, he's part beast? <laughs> That's because he probably had blue eyes. Let me bring my lamp over here a moment so we can um, see this better. Okay, so now on the backs of these photos, it had information, um, like a name or a year or a town, and I got more information from the internet, so I added it on when I could. So we have an 1860s photo right here. This is a CDV photo made actually on paper, not like the tin type we have here. And you can generally tell an 1860s photo by the way the women wore their hair. As you can see here, her hair is parted down the center and um, a lot of times you'll see the ear, the ears um, covered by the hair with the ladies updo or you'll see the um, ears um, exposed like this. Well, this is really telling me this is probably like the late 1860s. And here's a really, really old looking photo here. And this one, this person was born in 1863 and died in 1877. And that was very sad. A lot of people had a very, very low life expectancy 
during the Victorian era. They didn't have medical care and medicine and modern um, things that we have today. And a lot of people would just get sick and just die. And the Victorians were actually very, very used to this. So this was a very, very sad thing that this little girl didn't live very long. Now we have a baby here. And this is what I call a hidden father photo. Generally, you'll see a mother like sort of crouching behind the child. Well, here you see a bearded man in the background holding this very unhappy little child. And again, um, these are CDV photos on paper. So now we have this one-year-old child here in this photo. And again, we have those crazy looking eyes. I'm trying to get it zoomed in properly. You can hardly see the pupils of her eyes. It's because she had light eyes. And this is a really, really cool image. I collect antique dolls. So whenever I see an old Victorian photo with the children holding the toys of the day, it really gets me excited, especially since I have these type of dolls in my collection. These appear to be China head dolls or German paper mache dolls, which were quite common back then. And this photo and the photo on the left appear to be 1860s photos. Now the photo on the right and the photo on the left are tin types. And um, these are more contemporary. These are probably 1870 in age or 1880. And you can see sometimes the cheeks would have been tinted and that would have cost the person who purchased the photograph extra money to have their cheeks tinted since there was no colorized photos of the day. This is a very, very dark tintype, as you can see here. You can hardly see the image. So here we have what appears to be an 1870 or 1880s photograph of a family. And it's always neat to see the type of jewelry and clothing and furniture that people had during that time. This one looks like an 1860s, 1870s photo. And again, there's the eyes. She had very light eyes and you can see how creepy that looked. So we have, um, this is probably an 1870s photograph. And here again, we have probably an 1870s photograph. These are CDV photos. Now we have more CDV photos. These appear to be the 1860s. In the 1860s, the image would have been smaller on the card that it was mounted on. And you would also see like a little vignette in the center that generally told you that it was the 1860s time frame. And you can tell by the lady's dress, her dress was very bell shaped and the wider the skirts, the earlier. As the decades moved on, the dresses of the ladies got more narrow. Her hair is also parted down the center. That's another telltale fact of the 1860s, early, early 1870s. Here's some more CDVs. So this photo appears to be a tin type. Actually, I think it's, no, it feels like a tin type. I don't want to take them out of the book because when you take them out of these old books, the little slots end up ripping nine times out of 10 because the paper is just so worn and old. So we have here Looks like a 1860s photograph of a husband and wife. And again, here's another 1860s photo. You can see the smaller vignette in the center telling me that this is an older uh, photo. Here's a tin type of a family. This is probably a decade and a half older, sometime between the 1870s, like the mid 1870s. And here's some more 1870s photos. Now, as you can see, see how her skirt got narrower? And that's telling me that this is a later dec decade after 
the 1860s. So now these two photos were actually in publication. So I believe it was in an old magazine or newspaper of the family members that were from this family that's in this album here. And um, they must have cut it out and put it in here. You can see the dot matrix from the actual newspaper print. So you'll see thousands of little dots that made up the image. And this is a very old 1860s photo, as you can see here. The vignette in the center is telling me that. This picture is so faded, you can hardly make it out. And this looks like an older picture as well. Now this one on the left appears to be very old as well, and um, probably 1860s. Here we have an 1860s photograph for sure right here with the pretty vignette in the center. So this appears to be the late 1860s, early 70s. And probably the same time frame for this as well. And again, you got your vignettes in the center. And again, this is telling me these are older photos. Look at the interesting hairstyle and jewelry this lady's wearing. And we have the vignette in the center telling me it's an older photo. Same for this one here. I think we saw this this guy earlier, he looks familiar for some reason. This is an older photo, probably 1860s. You can tell by her dress. It's very bell shaped. This looks like a late 1860s, early 1870s. And we have uh a tin type here, and this one appears to be probably the early, probably the early 1900s or the very late 1890s. And this lady had beautiful, beautiful clothing. As you can see here. This is probably 1870s. This looks like an 1870s photo. And you see how um, these books rip very easy if you want to try to remove a photo? That's why I really try not to touch them. And then we have um, this 1860s photograph right here. Now remember earlier I had told you, you can basically tell the personality of the person who put the book together. Well, it appears that somebody had put some actual like lithographic photos that were actually a filler for a photo album in here. So these people could have been poets or authors or composers or someone who is their hero because these people look like they're from the 1700s and these are certainly not photographs but they look like some kind of photo album filler or it could be actually a descendant of theirs that they had like a printed picture of them. I can't tell because they taped it into the book. So I'm not going to take apart this tape to try to see. I'm definitely not going to do that. Now, what we have here on the left is actually what's known as an occupation photo. And an occupation photo is a photo showing what somebody did for a living. So apparently this guy, at first I thought he was a baker because it looks like he has a baker's hat on. But he was a painter. I don't know if you can see he has a palette and a paintbrush. And that was his painting uniform or costume. <laughs> costume. Don't mind me. Over here we have a very old tattered fo photo of a child sitting in a gothic chair. Now here's that same guy we just saw a second ago. And he's our painter. 
And again, you can see a palette and paint brushes and his painter's hat. I don't know if that meant he was an artist or he actually painted interiors or painted exteriors of things. Who knows? He has this other guy here. Now I have names of these people. I can look them up and do some research, which is actually quite fun when you have the names of the people in your album. You could spend hours upon hours upon hours um, looking things up and finding more information about them. This picture, sadly, is you can hardly make it out, but it's a, a small child. And that's it. So as you can see, the uh, book binding tape I got actually worked. It held the whole entire book together. So I can show you this album and it did the job well. So once again, if you like what you see, hit the thumbs up and subscribe. And if you like to see more antiques and find out more about history, please hit the notification bell and the subscribe. And if you hit the notification bell when you subscribe, hit the all notifications button. So anytime I upload something, you will see it. Thanks for watching.